Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, November 12th, 2024. When you watch an older body in action compared to a young one, what stands out first is the stiffness and slower movements. Sure, plenty of people over 50 are in fantastic shape. Some have magazine worthy physiques, look decades younger, or excel in sports like sprinting, maintain impressive speed for their age. However, if you take these same individuals and make them jump, throw, and change directions quickly while running, their true age reveals itself. The reason? Over the years, they neglected to train their fascia, the connective tissue that keeps the body agile and resilient. So what exactly is this fascia? Fascia, the web of connective tissue that runs throughout your body, plays a big part in proprioception which is your body's ability to know where it is in space and how it's moving. Think of it like your internal GPS system. Special sensory nerves within the fascia send messages to your brain about things like how, how to bend your joints, how stretch your muscles are, and which way you're moving. This is super important for all kinds of movement, but especially for those bouncy, springy actions like running and jumping. When you run and jump, your fascia acts like a rubber band, storing and releasing energy to help you move more efficiently and powerfully. This is called the catapult mechanism. To make this work properly, your muscles and fascia need to be perfectly coordinated. And that's where proprioceptive feedback comes in. It's like a constant conversation between your brain and your fascia. The structure of your fascia also matters. When you're young and healthy, your fascia is arranged in a neat crisscross pattern, like a pair of tights. This makes it springy and responsive and helps you sense your movements with more precision. But as you get older, or if you get injured and don't move enough, your fascia can become more jumbled and less organized. This makes it stiffer and less responsive and can also reduce your proprioceptive feedback. Therefore, no matter how good you look on the outside, you will actually move like someone your age or older. So fascia training, you need to take a different approach. Fascia-oriented training is all about working with your fascia. It's different from how we usually think about training, which often focuses on mainly on building muscle strength and muscle power. Okay, Let's talk about elastic recoil. Your fascia acts like a giant rubber band. It can store and release energy, giving you more power and making your movements more smoother, especially when you're running and jumping. This is called the catapult mechanism, as I mentioned earlier. It's like having built-in springs that help you move more efficiently. You gotta be like a cat, smooth and in control. Speed, power, and control. It's called the catapult mechanism in fascia training. You ever see Bruce Lee when he, he will hit you and come back? It's called catapulting. Like even a boxer, close the jab, bah, bah, close back. That's called catapulting. Next exercise. It's different than traditional training, which often forgets about the springy action and focuses mostly on making your muscles stronger. Also, you need to move like a cat, dynamic and multi-directional. Think flowing, whole body movements that stretch and challenge your fascia in all directions. Picture a cat moving and stretching. It's all long, smooth motions that engage multiple muscles and joints at once. Okay? In traditional training, which you can get stuck in a rut, isolating single muscles, using repetitive movements that don't really let your fascia move freely. You gotta be like a cat. Smooth. Okay, and in control. This works the whole body. Keep yourself smooth. It works the entire fascial system. I mean, all the joints. Next exercise. The next one is called proprioceptive refinement. Your fascia is packed with sensory nerves that tells your brain where your body is in space and how it's moving. Fascia training helps you yeah. tap into these sensations so you can move with more precision and control. That is a quick 92 centimeters, 92 centimeters, which is a little more than 36 inches. 
that is also helps the posture on the legs and the arms because you're using power. You gotta, you don't just jump. You gotta, ah! Now, when we talk about traditional training, it doesn't always pay attention to these subtle sensations, focusing more on how much weight you lift or how fast you run. One other thing, hydration and renewal. Healthy fascia is hydrated fascia. Techniques like foam rolling and dynamic stretching help squeeze out all fluid and bring in flesh nutrients, keeping your fascia supple and happy. Taking breaks during exercise also gives your fascia time to rehydrate. Now, in traditional training, which sometimes dehydrates your fascia with intense repetitive workouts without enough time to recover. Fascia-oriented training adds a whole new dimension to your workouts by working with your fascia, not against it. By focusing on these key principles, you can unlock a whole new level of movement potential and feel better in your body. Can fascia help you live longer? A healthy fascia is a big part of staying healthy and feeling good as you age. Here's how. Fewer injuries. Strong and flexible fascia is less likely to get injured. As we get older, falls and injuries happen more often, and they can really affect our quality of life. Taking care of your fascia might help you avoid these problems. It actually, it will. Okay? It also helps you move younger. Younger people have fascia that's more organized and springy, giving them that bouncy, youthful way of moving. The right kind of exercise can help your fascia keep that younger structure, even as you get older. So keeping your fascia healthy may help you keep moving with more ease and energy as you age. The next is body renewal. What do I mean by body renewal? Fascia is always changing and renewing itself. The right kind of training and healthy habits can support this renewal process and keep your fascia working well for a long time. This continuous renewal is key for healthy tissues and could play a role in aging as well. A healthy fascia is linked to overall health, good movement, and avoiding injuries. These things can definitely help you live a healthier and more active life as you get older. So now the next question is, how often should you train your fascia for best results? When it comes to fascia training, being consistent is more important than how long or how hard you work out. It takes time for your fascia to change and adapt. You might not see big changes right away, but stick with it. It can take anywhere from six months to two years for your fascia to fully remodel and become stronger and more flexible. Aim to do fascia-focused exercises once or twice a week. That's enough to stimulate the process of your fascia renewing itself. You don't need to spend hours training your fascia. Even a few minutes each session can be effective. What really matters is doing the movements correctly and really engaging your fascia, not just going through the motions. You must concentrate. Remember, these are just guidelines. Everyone is different. So listen to your body and figure out what routine works best for you. Make sure you're giving your body enough time to recover between workouts. That's very important. In addition, fascia training shouldn't replace other types of exercises. You still need to do things like strength training, power training, cardio, and exercise that improve your coordination. A well-rounded approach to fitness, including fascia training, is the best way to stay healthy and perform at your best. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, no one talks about fascia. In my humble opinion, fascia is extremely important for the aging process it's not just about, I talk about my channel about plyometrics for fast switch fibers, fast motor units. That's just one thing. You need to keep the fascia youthful and healthy. Stretch out. This is why I stretch out 40 minutes a night. This is why I do sprints. This is why I do jumps. This is why I, do, I act like a child. I do hops, jump. I have fun. That's why kids have youthful fascia. Anyway. Hope this information helps you in some way. And see you soon in my next video. Stay healthy and stay smooth, fast, powerful. Have a great day, everyone.